Notice he gives like two major branches. This one, which is more lateral and more external, is called the left external carotid artery. That supplies the tissues on the outside. Okay? The one that's deep here, more medial, is the left internal carotid artery, and that's a major blood supply to the brain. You can see it here and here. Okay? So you have a left internal carotid artery, you have a right internal carotid artery. Now they only show the ones on the left here, but they both branch off left common carotid artery, left external carotid artery, left internal carotid artery, which goes up in the brain. Okay? These that run through the cervical vertebra, also a major blank of blood supply of the brain, they come up right here. It's got a plus on it. Those are called vertebral arteries. You may remember when you were studying the vertebra, okay? Into vertebral discs. Cervical, thoracic, mm -hmm. lumbar, and so on. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. 512. Up to, yeah. But to well, 7, them, 7 12. Yeah. What they say the cervical ones look sort of like a fox, mm -hmm. a Disney fox. Seven vertebrae. And yeah, and then the thoracic look like the giraffe, Twelve. and the lumbar look like a moose. Five. Well, one distinctive feature of the cervical vertebrae is they're the only vertebrae that have foramen out and holes in the transverse processes. Running through that are these two major blood vessels called the vertebral arteries. They're also a major blood supply to the brain. These two coming up here. So these two, the left and right internal carotid arteries, and then these two, the left and right vertebral arteries, are the major blood supply to the brain. So you actually have two systems there in case there's a blockage to get blood to the brain. Okay. That's a good one to see the difference. Common, external, mm -hmm. internal. The vertebral runs yeah, from left. the spinal cord, mm -hmm. vertebrae. So this is the left. Any vessel that's paired, mm -hmm. I'd like you to write left, left and right. 